them in his stock. I put them in his stocking stuff. I'd stuff them into his stocking. There we go. We're, We're doing, doing Vlogmas. Oh, it's time for Christmas. Oh, it's time for us. Oh, it's time for Christmas. Don't you know? Welcome back to Oddly in Love. So today's video is a collaboration with Kirsten Whitney. She is an amazing Aussie vlogging mum. She has a daughter named Madison who is, I believe, just like a month younger than Jacob. Um, so it's really cool to watch her videos and see the comparisons of Jacob and Madison because they're very similar. Um, they're both standing up, trying to pull up on things. She has an amazing channel. Um, she is doing Vlogmas too, and so she's doing a video every day up until Christmas. Um, so definitely go check out her channel. I'll also put a link in the description. Um, so definitely go check out her channel. Today we are collaborating to do a video called What's in My Baby's Stocking Stuffer. Stuffing stocker? Stop. Stuffing. Stocking. St <laughs> stocking stuffer. Stocking stuffer ideas. Stuffing. Stuffing your stocking? Uh, I don't know how to say it, but. One of those. To be honest, I didn't even think about doing this um, for this year. Just just because Jacob is so young, he's going to be just under one year old. He's not really going to understand what's going on, but it is kind of a cool idea for him to open up some presents on Christmas. So when Kirsten asked me to do this collaboration video with her, I thought, yep, I'm going to do it because I did buy a few things for Jacob. so. I thought I'd put it in his stocking. So this is Jacob's stocking. It's a handmade stocking made by his great-grandmother. Um, we all have very similar stockings in the family, so um, it was his turn to get a new one this year. I did buy a few items for him regarding um, what he needed and some things that he can play with, but I'm not sure if they're all going to fit in his stocking, but we will show you anyway. So the first item that I bought Jacob is these finger paint paints. Now Jacob's only ever painted once in his lifetime and I really want to continue doing that um, sort of sensory activities with him. So he really enjoyed it that time. Um, even though he's a little bit unsure what it was, um, it's good to have some paints just for maybe like rainy days when you can't do anything else. Um, you can do some sensory activities. So I bought him some finger paints. Um, they're the Crayola um, washable finger paints and they're non-toxic. Now if anyone knows Jacob, they know that Jacob loves bath time. He is such a water baby. He loves the pool, he loves bath time. So whenever he gets in the bath, it's like playtime for him. It's his favorite time of the day. So he does have quite a few toys for the bath, but he doesn't really have like a book. And I've always wanted to get him one of those water books um, for the bath. So I bought this. Um, it's a splash book um, and it's like, I haven't opened it up yet, but it's got a few pages in there. It's from the brand Playgrow. It has a little sound on it too, if you can hear it. So you can play with that. Um, he can read it, he can touch it, and it works on his gross motor skills. So I think that's a really cool thing to have. Jacob really likes books as well. so doesn't necessarily like you reading them to him because he'll just turn the pages really quickly but he does enjoy like opening them up and seeing the pictures and turning the pages so it'd be cool to have that in the bath with him. Now this one is just a necessity. I bought him some new dummies. These are from the brand Tommy Tippy. Um, closer to nature, two orthodontic soothers. Ja Jacob does take a dummy at nap time and during the night so and they're kind of bear themed as well can see them. One of them says I love you very much and the other one is just a bear so I thought that was really cute to have maybe for his birthday party because he's got a teddy bears picnic theme and we do need more dummies so so I thought I'd put them in his stock I put them in his stocking stuff I'd stuff them into his stocking there we go 
Such a tongue twister. Now this is really exciting because I know Jacob is getting to that age where he's starting to do activities and starting to learn a little bit. So I bought him a puzzle and this is the puzzle with all the numbers on it. So one through to 15. Um, the reason I bought this, I know he's not going to know what it is just right away, but in a few months, he's probably going to know how to put these into their spaces and we can always practice, you know, the numbers one through to 15. This is from Kids and Co. This one, I don't know if it's going to fit in his stocking, but we'll see. And the last little toy that I bought Jacob is from David Jones. And usually I don't buy toys from David Jones just because they are pretty expensive. But this one was decently priced and Jacob loved it when we went into the shop and I showed it to him. So um, it's kind of like a nice little gift to give him. Here it is. I'm not sure what it's called, but if you press the, the hood, That's what happens. And Jacob's asleep right now, so I don't know if I just woke him up, but that's what happens. So he can learn to press the top um, and he sees the little balls move inside. So that's pretty much it for this video of what I'm getting to stuff Jacob's stocking with. I got it that time. There we go. Make sure you go over to Kirsten's channel. She is doing the same video. So definitely go check out her video and her channel. Um, she does amazing videos and she has the most amazing personality. I'm sure that if we lived in the same state, we would be meeting up all the time, but unfortunately we don't. So we are YouTube friends. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in our next Vlogmas video. Bye.